All right, welcome back. We were there last week as Jawan Deering was released following 15 years in prison, stemming from a fire that killed five children in Royal Oak Township. The Oakland County prosecutor concluded he didn't get a fair trial and therefore was wrongly convicted. Deering, of course, cannot get the time back that he's lost, but he's certainly trying to make up for that lost time. Larry Spruill joins us live after spending some time with Jawan Deering and his daughter today. Larry, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly and Devin. The last couple of days have been eye opening for Jawan Deering. He is now out of prison after serving 15 years for a crime he says he did not commit. Now he is experiencing a new life. I asked him, how is that process going? And I never gave up on hope. That's what I say. You got to have faith. Deja Deering Poole says it's these moments and conversations she dreamed about when her father was gone. She was 16 when her father was sentenced to prison. She's now 32 and her dad is home. We've been wonderful. We've been good. Finally being free, you know, finally being out of the restraints or something, you know, for something I didn't do. Jawan Deering was sentenced to prison in 2006 after a jury convicted him of setting a Royal Oak Township home on fire with five kids inside. 15 years later, a judge vacated his sentence after Oakland County prosecutor Karen McDonald told the judge three informants who testified against Deering asked the former prosecutor for favors. Deering was released from prison. I asked Deering how he is getting accustomed to his new life as a free man. So far, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, you know, and it's, it's wonderful to be free. Nearing says he first ate at Fishbones and recently went to a concert with his family, but he says a lot has changed over the years. Yeah, that phone. <laughs> yes. Dealing with that phone, man, it's so many things, you know, and I'm working, I'm trying to learn it. I'm blessed to be here with my family, and uh, it's just, uh, it's just overwhelming, but... I'm getting through it. Overwhelming indeed. Now, Deering says that his next step is to get an ID, and he is also going to continue to help those in prison who say they are innocent as well. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Larry, he mentioned the technology and the cell phone. I can imagine that has to be so overwhelming. It's overwhelming for so many of us yeah. who've been using it for years. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And I was watching him trying to use his phone to send me some pictures and he was you no know, a little frustrated, but he also says that's due to FaceTime and social media and he has not used the internet just yet. He says that would be his next challenge. Okay. All right, Larry, we appreciate it.